What's up everybody and welcome back here to Forza Horizon 4. We are in the Gymkhana 10 Focus RS that is available to be gotten. Ooh, there's a jump. We're just going to hit it. So we're here back on Forza Horizon 4 because we haven't been here in a minute. Cows. Square Lego cows. So weird when they don't jump or when their legs don't move. We are here just to have a little fun with this Gymkhana 10 Focus RS because we were able to pick it up. It is available for you to get in the uh, event stuff. Ooh. It's very grippy here on the pavement. There we go. So we're just going to hoon again, basically hoon this thing around the city, have a little fun, maybe switch it to rear wheel drive and just see what we can do with it since we haven't been here on Horizon 4 in a minute. Oh, there we go. And it's already sliding very well in all-wheel drive platform. Oh, this car handles really nice, actually. So, <laughs> definitely very impressed with how this thing is driving. And, well, for all-wheel drive, not doing too bad. Just coming back here to Horizon 4 because we all know if you guys have followed the channel for a while, how my uh, all-wheel drive drifting goes. It's not as great as my rear-wheel drive drifting. But we're doing pretty good in this Focus RS. And we're just pretty much just hammering around here. Oh, we did good until right there. So if you guys have this car or you guys are still on Horizon 4, what is your favorite map? Do you guys like the LEGO expansion still? Do you like the mountain drifting? Do you like the original map? Because right now we're just on the LEGO expansion just because that's where I loaded into. So I'm not sure what the specs are on this car, if it's stock, because I did pick this up actually in the auction house. Uh, I found I was just looking through cars and I was like, ooh, I want this car. I don't feel like uh, trying to uh, unlock it, so we did just buy it. Not too bad, only half a mil. We have... Uh, enough money to burn so that's why we picked it up so we're gonna do some messing around with it today so make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below oh getting our jumps there we go why didn't it oh it wasn't actually a jump thing so like i said follow me on instagram and twitter time to mess with this thing so we are at the lego speed champions track and of course, with this being Jim Conner car, we do have it in sequential mode. Because why would you drive a rally car without it? Go this way. So we're just going to see how it drives here in all-wheel drive first. Because it was uh, doing pretty good out there in the city. But now we're going to just see what we can do with it here. Basically on a track. Oh. That was almost really good until we did that. And then we're going to probably try and convert this thing around and see what we can actually do with it. So all-wheel drive drifting, if you guys have followed the channel, is not my forte. Not something I'm very good at because I always tend to overcorrect my steering wheel because I'm used to doing rear-wheel drive. So it's something I'm trying to get a little bit better with. And we're slowly, slowly making progress with this car is actually a very good progression for us. So definitely gonna be probably hitting up the Gymkhana section here in the Lego expansion and stuff like that in all wheel drive version. I always pull the handbrake too much. I think that's my biggest problem. Quick pull, use the throttle, breaking out walls. And just kind of let the car do its thing. And not correct too much. So we want to go that way and we don't have enough power so we're going to switch it up and see what this car is actually set up as so we're going to hop back to the main area and uh well tune this thing up a little bit and see what we can do we can switch it maybe we'll drive and maybe make it a drift car so let's go do that and see what we can do with this car and see what it's sitting at right now so we will be able to quickly see if they change the tune or anything on this when we go into tuning if it says it's locked it is locked wait no 
it's not locked. So this is exactly how the car came. So, truth be told, this is how it sits. So now let's go check into upgrades. So this car has not been messed with. We can do an engine conversion. We can put a rally turbo motor in it. And we can do a drivetrain swap. So we can make it rear wheel drive. Hmm. Rear wheel drive. We're going to definitely throw all these parts on it. And we're going to see if this thing will slide in a rear wheel drive configuration. Because we don't have steering or anything like that. So we don't have any way of increasing the angle kits. So we're just going to leave it how it sits. But it's going to be rear wheel drive now. So we're going to see how this thing goes being rear wheel drive with basically factory rally suspension. I know the steering angle is not going to be a lot. But who knows? Maybe we will be able to actually get sideways with it and drift this thing around in the configuration of rear wheel drive configuration. Because I was having fun with an all wheel drive. You can see how it does in rear wheel drive now. Definitely does not get up and go as much as it did before. And it's very squirrely. Oh my. This is going to be interesting. It does seem like it might get a decent amount of angle, but it's definitely very slidey. And it almost doesn't feel very... It still kind of feels almost like it's all-wheel drive bias, but it could just be the tires because this thing is just roasting tires right now. It is just smoking the tires in all gears. Fifth gear clutch drop, and it's just ripping tires. So this car may not be the best car to change to rear-wheel drive with the way the settings are. We could probably tweak our suspension settings and stuff, but we just, just converted it. And we're gonna drive it how it sits. Oh, just a, just a scrape on that man's front bumper. This is very difficult. I am not sure if I like it in rear wheel drive. I think I liked it better when it was all wheel drive. Huh, that's weird of me to say being is I'm not that fond of all-wheel drive <laughs> sliding around but apparently this car was much better all-wheel drive but we'll see here in the middle of the city there we go actually it handles pretty well on the lower speed stuff long e brake grab a little bit on the brakes too early they don't need those bikes or anything we're just wrecking oh hey you guys are screaming because I wrecked your uh, house or are you screaming because I did wreck your house I don't know not sure why they're all screaming but they're screaming at me this is definitely weird in a real drive configuration it almost feels like it slides too much like we may have to definitely change the suspension around to get it to handle really well, but it's it's weird. If you have one of these, convert it to rear wheel drive and tell me what you guys think, because it's feels kind of goofy. Actually. I mean it drives, but it's weird. I know I've said it's weird many times, but it's just it's weird. So a lot of new things coming to the channel here very soon with the PC getting built after I get back on vacation. But I still wanted to bring you guys content and stuff like that for you guys constantly coming back and supporting the channel. But PC is coming, so a set of course of content and everything will be coming as well. It's a little bit better. So just a little messing around here on Horizon 4. If you guys want to see something specific here on Horizon 4, Make sure you guys let me know down in the comment section down below. If you want to see something specific, maybe car builds or drift builds or anything like that, or challenges here on Horizon 4, I will start getting more and more back into Horizon 4 here in the near future because I do miss the open world 
fun of Horizon. So, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. That wasn't going to work. I don't even know why I tried.